G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here with another 7 Days to Die build video. So this is a follow-up to my super secret starter base build where I'm going to show you what I've done on my Twitch stream with this build. So let's dive on in and have a look. Rightio, so we are back at our starter base or at least something that was very close to what we had in the video. This is, this was built on my Twitch stream and you can see there are a lot of ad additions to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the basic build that I'd already done and then show each addition as I did them. So the basic build was the first level of the base here. So the stairs coming up, our little drawbridge trap here which works very well. This build has been through three blood moons and numerous other mini hordes and various other things and then originally we went up and we stopped here and we opened this up and this was our base with our little turret platforms down here. We have a couple of turrets, one here you can see it working now it's scanning back and forth looking for enemies and there's another one over in that corner. Now these very simple junk turrets, only one of those can be active at a time. So I'm closer to this one than I am to that one. So this one is currently active. If I move over here, this one starts up and that one has shut down. Now I just have a little chest in the middle here with all of my weapons in it uh, so that it's very easy if I'm downstairs working and a raid happens, I can rush up into the first room, grab my weapons and I'm ready to go. So that was the first level base. Uh, and initially all of the doors, of course, except for this one, didn't exist. They were, that was just bars, the roof, and you could use this as your complete base. You could just put any equipment that you need in here and, and that would all work fine. But I then extended my balcony out here and went up here and put in a second level. And originally the door was right here. But I had an idea to put extra doors in and to put the balcony all the way around. So I put the balcony all the way around and the main door became this one. Now the only reason the main door became this one was because that was a iron door that I scavenged. I found that when I was raiding the town over there. So I put it in over there and then I went, uh, I don't know if I want the other doors now. I don't know if I want four doors up here. It's a little bit confusing as to which way is the exit. You know, where's the stairs? But I want to keep this door. I don't want to knock it down. So that became the main door. I have enough resources now that I'm actually tempted to knock this door here out and make it the main door again and get rid of that one. Um, but then, so this became my living area. Still got bars on the sides so that I can see out and uh, watch an approaching horde and, and in fact, you know, shoot at them successfully. But once they get close to the base, I've got to go back down to my defense level. Um, you know, basic sort of stuff in here. One chest with resources, one chest with tools and weapons, although most of the weapons are downstairs now. The spare weapons are up here. Uh, one chest, uh, sorry, the forge, the workbench, uh, my cook fire and a chest with food and medical supplies in it and of course my bedroll and that's it that's that's this level but the balcony around here allows me to go most of the way around the building so I didn't extend it any further here because the top of the stairs is just there so it allowed me to go most of the way around the building and defend defend my base at long range from up here. Not that it's much different from defending it down there. But you know, if I'm in here working away and I hear a zombie, I can come out here and maybe get a few shots at it before it got underneath my base. So that was that. Then my next thought in another playthrough, I had built a wall all the way around the base. But that didn't really stop the zombies. From a horde, the zombies, the Blood Moon hordes, the zombies will just bash a hole in the wall. Now, the fact that they bashed a hole in the wall in some ways was good because it gave them a point of entry. So as they all came through the wall, I could shoot at them. But 
I thought there might be a better way to defend against them. So, what I did was... I built a moat. And originally, it was three deep and one wide. And it went all the way around. And I filled it at strategic places with the spike traps. Three deep, like we've got here. You know, that's three deep worth of traps. And the thing is, the zombies will just think that's solid ground and they will try and walk over the trap so they will fall onto that they'll get damaged if they destroy that they fall onto the next one they get damaged if they survive and they destroy that they fall onto the last one and they're in there now from down there they can't jump out they can however dig their way out so my next i built these little drawbridges same same concept hatches over walk over close them and I've got two, one each on these corners because I go that way a lot to gather resources or I go, you know, over this way a lot to gather resources. I've got another one over here and on that corner because those directions I do a lot. And I've got one more over there in that corner. But I really don't go in that direction all that often at the moment. So I've only got a single drawbridge here. I don't have, you can notice, I don't have one over on that side. Right? And there's nothing else until you get to the one down near that bridge. Okay, so there's no drawbridges around on this side. That basically means any zombies coming from this direction, particularly if I don't have any traps that fill up the gap in here, they will not attack this side. They'll walk all the way around and they'll come over to here. They won't even jump down into the pit because they try and take the path of least resistance. So if that started as a one wide, I then expanded it to two with the thought that I might go to three, but I won't. There's really no need to go to three. This is fairly effective as it is, but it's still not perfect with the drawbridge. The, the, this, because what happens is, first of all, it takes a lot of wood to, to maintain traps all the way through here so i don't completely fill it up i put random traps in the bottom and that at a few places usually at these drawbridges i put the whole thing full of traps because what that will do is that will prompt the zombies to try and cross they won't attack anything they go oh look i can walk across here and they will go in that spot and they'll fall onto the traps and they will get injured and mostly die and that works very, very well. So it's just a matter of maintaining a few places where you have all of the traps and then your zombies work their way around to those places and they try and cross and they get injured. And you can be up in your base shooting down at them. What happens once all of the traps at the bottom are broken away? Like they basically are now. If I was to jump down in here, I think I can walk the entire way around without being blocked completely by traps i could dodge around any that were on the ground and i could get all the way around so what do you do in that set what happens well unfortunately this is what happens you probably can't easily tell but a zombie has been digging right here okay so if i just jump down in here uh do we see it no we don't but the reason why there was the block of dirt up here is because I had to fill in the whole section there because the zombies got into everything uh, and they actually did that at several places so I think yes you can see they've they've dug into the dirt here this is a much more obvious spot which I haven't yet filled in properly uh, I could actually do that now, I think. So, if I just crouch down a little bit without let me do it. Where is it? It had it there a second ago. That's the upper one, and that's the lower one. Oh, and there's a bit of debris over there. It's not doing a very good job of, of making it neat and tidy, but... Uh, there we go. That's actually way more than I would normally like, but it's now filled in so that if they come through again they've got more to dig through so that then becomes a problem because if they dig through they can basically dig a ramp up which they have done right there 
previously. And then I've got zombies wandering around underneath my base again, which isn't really a big deal because the base is designed for that. But if you want to keep them as far away as possible, you want to be killing them while they're in the trench. And that's where the next problem comes in, because from up here, safety first, from up in my base, it's actually quite hard to shoot down into the trench. So if we switch over to the pistol here, you'll see that I can't actually see the bottom of the trench there. And in fact, from here, the only time I see a zombie in that trench is if they jump. Right? Or, like right here where they did dig through, they dig through and they start moving up the ramp that they've just dug, I can then start shooting them. Which, again, is a valid tactic, but it wasn't what I wanted. I wanted to be able to get them when they're the most vulnerable, when they're packed together in the trench. So... The final addition that I made to the base was this catwalk. Actually, it's not the final. There is going to be one more addition made to this. Okay. So the problem with it... Well, this catwalk allows me to come all the way up to here. I can see all of... You know, by coming to the edge here, I can see everything in the trench. It's only if they're right up against this wall here that sometimes it's a little bit hard because... Like, that is the very edge of the trench, right there. You might be able to see a line. Uh, and technically, if they're, if they're walking right against that wall there, I can't see a, a lot of them. I can see a bit of them, and so you've got to make it a very precise shot. You've got to be very careful. Um, but this allows me to move around to see the entire trench from on high and attack the zombies when they are in the trench without them getting to me and the only way they can get to me up here well anything that flies so vultures and there's a couple of different vultures in the game apparently and spider zombies might be able to and then of course if if a demolisher comes in they could blow themselves up below me and destroy this catwalk and make me fall down but essentially, anything else that's down there, I've got a clear shot at, and I can defend things. So what else am I going to do to this base to make it even more defensible? Well, there's only one thing, and I'm going to come around to the spot where I wanted to start this, and I'm going to try and show you what else I'm going to do. It's a minor addition to this catwalk that's going to make it safer for me and even more effective. So what is the one thing that's dangerous about this? Well, if I go too far this way, I fall off, don't I? Now, I could have put this sort of catwalk with the barriers on both sides, but there is a problem with that. And that is, if I try and shoot down like this, the bullets don't actually go through the barrier very well um, and they may damage it at times so it's not showing it now but I've had it damage the catwalk and of course I can't shoot down through this that that definitely damages the catwalk right, so we can see here this has been damaged by me shooting through it All right so So the solution is wooden bars again. So if I craft, uh, I better craft a few just in case. I'm going to eventually craft a whole heap of them, but I wanted to craft enough to show you what I'm trying here. Right, so it's a little bit tricky to line this up. So I need to, first of all, make sure this is set up the way I want it. So I've got to go into the R menu 
and let it do the advanced. And I don't want that one. I want this one. So if I can just get it to place properly, and I may have to almost kill myself. Aha! Got it. One. So once I've placed one, we're good there. I should be able to then just place a second like that. So that that helps now. I can stand on that. It's sufficiently rigid. It's not going to break. The zombies can't get to it. And I can shoot down through this without any problems at all. So if I stand here now, I can shoot down. No issues. And if I need to, I can move over this way and get an even better angle down there. But there's still the problem that I could fall. How do I solve that? Simple. Again, it's going to be a little bit hard to place this, but if I get it just right. Yes, that is what I want. If I can get this, ah, uh, that. There we go. And then if I come over here, I should... There. So what I'm going to do is go all the way around with this. So that stops me from walking forward. I'm trying to walk forward now. I can't fall. I can shoot through this at any angle without a problem. And yeah, I have this perfectly defensible base and even if there's so many zombies that they do start digging their way and getting up they really can't get up to me because I've still got the barrier down there I can always rush back in here and defend myself and I've got my turrets in here to help um, it should be a very very defensible base what I'm going to try and do is finish this build with this walkway all the way extended all the way around and then i want to have one more video in this series where i show you the next blood moon i don't know if i'm going to have this finished for the blood moon on the 28th which is only you know a day and a half or two days away um i should be able to gather all the resources i need but it is a little bit hard um, to get all the resources at the moment because I've got to go further and further to get the wood that I need and I'm going to need a fair bit for this. Um, but yes, I thought I'd come back and show you the current state of this build and how it is working and my ideas behind it. And so far, I find it a very, very useful uh, build it's working very well um, yeah hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a like and share it with your friends be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos and I will see you for the next one thanks a lot bye